Hi, Thomas Brinsko, CEO and publisher of BIC Magazine and BICMagazine.com, bringing you the top news of the week. Uh, on our website, we're getting a lot of traffic to some exclusive original content written by one of uh, BIC's writers, Miss Nancy Ford, on uh, the Biden administration's land restrictions. Some of his executive orders uh, have uh, caused an immediate pause to leasing. That's the term they're using, immediate pause to leasing on all federal lands. and. Uh, Biden has instructed all of his agencies to take a uh, rigorous review, is the language, a rigorous review of the leasing and permitting of uh, fossil fuels on federal lands. Uh, we've got uh, some good comments from the uh, lobby, that's the Louisiana Association of Business and Industry, and from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, so you'll want to check that out. On some very positive news, uh, some of our stories... Uh, U.S. drillers have added rigs to the rig counts for 11 weeks in a row, and uh, U.S. crude hit its one-year high recently after uh, they've been drawing down on the inventory, and I think we're going to see crude prices uh, continue to eke up as investment goes down in drilling and the, the inventory uh, gets smaller. So uh, it's a cyclical industry. I'm telling you, it's going to get bounced back, so uh, fear not. I wanted to bring to your attention two fantastic events that BIC is hosting uh, the first week of March. They'll be back to back. First, on Tuesday, March 2nd, we have a live in-person event. If you want to see live people and have an adult beverage and have a good time, come on out to the Health and Safety Council in Deer Park. That's formerly known as the Houston Area Safety Council. Uh, Health and Safety Council, along with BIC Magazine and the Economic Alliance of the Houston Port Region, all three organizations are putting in together, we've never done this before, for a very important networking event and community involvement. Many of you commented on a post of mine on LinkedIn that went viral recently about us serving breakfast at a battered women's shelter called the Bridge Over Troubled Waters. Well, in response to that, I uh, got together with my friends Chad Burke and Luis Aguilar, and we are excited to put together a program to introduce that very worthy ministry to our uh, friends in industry. And they've got some big news coming up that we're excited to share with you. The following day, Wednesday, March 3rd at 11 a.m. Central, noon Eastern, uh, I'm going to be hosting a uh, industry roundtable, uh, actually just be one-on-one -on -one discussion with the AFPM President Chet Thompson. So uh, I hope you log in to our webinar. Both those events, you can find them at BICMagazine.com and then click the events button and uh, you'll get a chance to register right there. Both events are free and we look forward to seeing you there. God bless and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.